Hello, my name is Sidakuni Ohide and welcome back to my channel. I am a creative being and a mess of an artist and I take you along onto my art journey. In this video we will go to Konichi, which is my second biggest convention throughout the year. In regard of visitors it's not, because that would be made in Asia, while in regards of sales it's Konichi. And this shows that size doesn't matter in regard of how well you will perform. Like last year, Konichi was in Wiesbaden in Germany and took place on the 6th until the 8th of September. Three days. I love three days conventions. They're the best, they are great and there's one full day where I don't have to build up or take down my booth. That's very pleasant. I just have to arrive there, work and go home. And I love it so much. On the other hand, one day events are very stressful, especially if you also have to drive there in the morning and also drive home in the evening, which is often the case. But yes, let's get started. It is. What day is today? Thursday. Today is Thursday and we came to Konichi already to build everything up and I just put the tablecloth on, the wire shelves and then as usual my charms, my buttons, my stickers and my patches and the rest is for tomorrow like the t-shirt and the prints. So I clean up now the rest of my stuff from the other artists table and then we get going. We go shopping, we go home and then tomorrow Konichi starts. Very excited. Wait, let me see. My boyfriend is somewhere there. Like, he is sitting very far away from me. He's currently building up. So we're just waiting for him and then we go. There he is. It's so hot, this will be dry in like five minutes. I'm just gonna lay down in it. Kind of just wanna lay down. Yeah, I say. Now in the water.
and I have finished setting up my table which I think looks pretty good like I will take some more shots of it but everything is up here which is very pleasant so about Konichi already in my last video I think I mentioned it I should have it's a year ago but I should have but Konichi has a rule that says that you're only allowed to bring 50-50 with in regard of fan art so that means you can only bring 50% of fan art and 50% of original art then again the more original art you have the better and that means I now set everything up I usually am around the 50-50% and I counted now everything and I have 114 pieces displayed that are fan art and I have 140 pieces that are original art so I should be good they should come by now starting at 12 between like 12 and 2 they get around to check everything and yeah I should be Gucci I'm excited I hope they come by and everything is good and that I don't have to worry about anything and yes next to me I have Molki they are a very sweet bean, they are a friend of mine. I'm very happy that I can sit next to them since I can't sit next to my boyfriend because he got taken in later. And he's just like somewhere over there. I can't see him anymore from here, but he sits like somewhere over there. But yes, so not that far away, but still I cannot like talk to him during the con. And yeah. Also for Konichi, you have to censor nipples and anything else for men and women and this is sitting a bit high from this perspective so let's adjust that giving Hurei his gin because I'm gay uh, then I have Aizawa from last year like I never took them off I was just like yes he has cat shaped nipples now like censoring uh, Dionysus has ever since his leave and oh I still have to cover up those nipples to make sure everything is all right let's go through things that are new these I have since some time also these in fact I also fixed them because they're laying on my button display which is a bit diagonally which is great but the thing is like they would slide down so I just glued on some old business cards and oh my god it works is it messy? Yes. Is it my style? Totally. These I have since any many, but back to the Lino prints. This one is new. It's actually a Lino cut I did years and years ago, but I didn't manage to print it properly because it wasn't looking good. So I just went back in, carved out some more, and bam, it's much more readable. I sadly only managed to get one of these, but here we are. Now I have it. And I will... I still have to price it as well same for this one like I still have to put some prices here and there these I had also already for any many I got the heart back in I have my hair my rabbit I also have like still some free space there but I can I do not know what to put there because if I put small prints on there people don't see them big prints most more likely but I felt like putting the yellow king here with like this originals like this traditional created artworks and these so I was like I, I like to keep those together this is looking good I'm just sold out on aromantics so I hope uh, no one comes by in general I adjusted this because it was a mess with the prices like they were just hanging here and there so from there until here it's all the eight years keychains now then starting here until over here it's 10 those two are 15 16 and 17 so it goes from low to high in a order and I think that makes much more sense and it will also be easier for people to understand that and yes buttons I have this new button I also have it a sticker but it is a bit like it's a bit messy I only got a few of them to test them out let's see if I sell these then this one is also new like my boyfriend and me were like both drawing online on shared canvas and we just both sketched this down and created this and I really loved it 
So I turned it into a sticker. Of course, I drew it myself again, like I drew over it, I refined it, I adjusted it, and yeah, it looks so cute, I love it. Snogs, I created my snogs. Uh, they were in one of my sketchbook tours and I finally committed to them. I drew them digitally already some time ago, but now I was like, no, let's get them as stickers. So let's see how they will sell as well. I don't know, I like the Shiba. Those two not as much. But the Shiba is really cute. That was also my main idea. Oh, and uh, actually, these are new. Why am I not talking about this? But the Rukun is new, the Crow is new, and the Capybara. Those two actually belong to the Trinket Collectors Club. Just like this print, like this print was like the spark of this club. And I was like, I don't know, I like to collect trinkets and trash and just things I find on the floor most likely. So that's the idea of this. And then I was like, oh my God, imagine like I have like keychains of that and like, I wanted to create something with a lanyard and then I was like, oh, but animals and what animals would do that? So like raccoons and crows and I was like, yes, makes sense. I was thinking of many more animals, but like for the start, I will test out these now. And then in the future, I see if I can add some, if people really like them. And this, I just wanted to, I don't know, I have a friend who really likes capybaras and I was like, like uh, people like capybaras, he likes capybaras, so just draw a silly little capybara. And I also challenged myself to like work with new colors and a style and just like challenge myself and oh my god, I love it. It's so cute, it's so adorable. His little orange like goodbye. But yes, it's just a little guy and he's just so cute, just floating there, chilling his life. And I hope people like him because he is pricier, because the production of these is pricier because it's like one lanyard, one big charm and a small charm. So let's see. If you will buy him, first con. Yeah. It's a little mm. Nothing that speaks to you. Let's get down to business. I want to see my name. Where's my name? I'm at P. I am U. Same letter, same difference. Ooh. Why does it not start at A? Because A starts in another thingy. There's me. Upsetting. Because the A starts in another room. Mary is there. Let's go say hi to Mary. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Mary schmeißt Stand vom Tisch. Mary will nicht mehr, Mary kann nicht mehr. Mary eat. Well, I could actually put you somewhere on my table so you're not mm, getting shaken around. Let me see if I can just put you on here. But I am too low, I don't want to be too low. I just lean you against my table. But yes, so today is Saturday. It's Saturday morning, it's before the con, like it's like after nine. Like the con probably starts in half an hour or such. And I set up my table, everything, everything is back on its spot. And for yesterday, 
it went great. It went super good for a Friday. Like I wasn't expecting that. I think yesterday I made like half of what I made last year in three days, which is insane. People are so damn friendly. They are the sweetest boo-boos. I like talking to them and I just had such an amazing time with everyone who came by. And on top of that, wait, I have to show you that. Let me get it out of the fridge because I got something yesterday and I was just like squeaking for five minutes with that person because they are just super super cool. Uh, it's a cosplayer I met at Nonkicon. Sorry for leaning in. Um, and they are just so sweet and oh my god they are just making so many things for people to give at cons and, and, and they were also making food and I commented on their story and I was like oh my god I'm so jealous. So they brought me something. Here it is. They brought me a full on meal like like i got cookies and cinnamon rolls and i think it's pizza and and, and some kind of hot dog like like they baked this for me and and like they baked it for many people but they brought me this and they just expected me to be like i don't know eat all of this within three days like it's so much and i'm just like so amazed and i'm like yeah i don't deserve this like people are too kind to me i'm not used to that and 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 it's so sweet hi <laughs> And I got this, this is so cute, and I got a lot of like goodies, like, like just put a romantic and then a cross. <laughs> yes, it's dead, it's gone, the a romantics uh, are gone, they left me. When I, when I was sold out of bisexuals, I would buy, buy, buy. <laughs> I am funny. But I got this and now I have to eat it and it's so yummy so far, I, I really enjoy it so much. And yes, I'm just very happy and, and like that person is just so great, like I was squeaking with that person for five minutes and I gave them a little Adam drawing of which I forgot to take a picture of course, so um, just imagine how I draw Adam, <laughs> I guess. And yeah, I also got a commission from a friend which I will start now in the morning when it's not as busy usually Why my partner will take over and take care of the booth and I can just sit on the floor like a gremlin and draw And yes, the only thing, the only thing I didn't like is Konichi has the 50-50% rule of which I already talked in this video and I am very attentive, I try to really like be correct about it and respect the rule and, and really like to not have too much fan art, like I really try my best to do so. And I counted, I have more original art than fan art. And yesterday when they came by, they were just like, I was having a customer because they need like five hours or so to like go through the whole artist alley from booth to booth to booth, talk to them. So I was having a customer and they just like appeared and already pointed things out and it just stressed me out. So it had an awful start already. So and then I was like trying to serve the customer so that they could like go so I could talk to them like in a very gentle way um, I served them everything went well and then they were like I don't know they were so condescending in some way of like oh you have barely enough original R and such and it was just very rude for me and I just like internally freaked out because of the way how they talked to me because last year they were so kind and also the like when my boyfriend got control yesterday, they were also so kind, but apparently those were different people. And, and this year was just like rude, like straight up rude and condescending. And that was very hurtful and I still was upset yesterday. I'm still upset, like I'm upset about this because, I don't know, if you're organizing a convention, you should keep a certain image and be kind to people, to customers, to visitors, to artists, to to staff, to everyone. Just be kind and this was just like over the top. Like it really felt like they were like it really felt like they were like Fahnenfreudig. <laughs> I think you can use that in English. But they were like I don't know. It came across like that and I do not appreciate that and that was really like a negative moment for me. I could have cried that moment because I was on edge that moment and yeah. So I hope today nothing like this happens or yeah, I want to have, I want to keep my positive picture of Konichi, my joy and, and every time I'm here it's just wonderful so I don't want to have that here. Second day. Let's rock, let's get drawing and see how it goes and 
today it's sold out so I expect many people like like even more than yesterday that would be amazing and very excited And that was Konichi. Throughout the weekend I got two more commissions, which is great. I love to sketch and I'm so happy I can do that because my partner is there, takes over and allows me to take the time to offer that. It's very precious. I'm so thankful he's around and supports me in that way and that's just fantastic. Konichi overall is a bit tricky to get in because they have limited space while the tables are also so small to get as many people in as possible that's how i assume it that's why it makes sense for me that the tables are so small and that you put the things that you're most proud of on the table to show them to people to sell those things and just not fill it with whatever because you have to be very thoughtful about how to fill those 120 meters it's tricky but by now i manage four wire shelves long tables it takes some space away but i'm very comfy with it and I can just fill it all up so it looks also very very full. Then again that makes it at times hard for people to see everything but I just like to see a full table and use all the space I have to the fullest. Yes, five wire shelf long tables are pleasant as well but I can work for wire shelf tables like I can do that especially since I build nowadays five wire shelves high which gives me a whole row to build with and work with and to mostly display very big things like my t-shirts and my very big prints. On which note, so far I sell my t-shirts regularly at conventions, still not many quantities but every now and then one to three t-shirts per event, which I love, makes me still very happy and I'm very happy that I have them. Also because they hang so high, people see them. And even if they just pass by, they often stop, look at them and then show it to their friends and, and partners and all. And to see those reactions is very funny. And sometimes it causes that people come by again or that they right away approach the table and then look at it. That's one of the reasons why I have the t-shirt up there. Another reason why I have my cash card sold sign. Like, yes, I take cash. Yes, I take card. Yes, of course I take souls. And... Often when people see that sign, they also are very amused by it and then think if they might approach and come by and just talk about it. Like it, it also starts conversations with visitors. And having such cute little things that don't necessarily are things you sell, help to get interactions with visitors. But yes, it's a bit tricky to get into Konichi, you apply and then you get randomly chosen. And then if not, if you don't get chosen, you get put on a waitlist and hope you're one of the earlier ones because there is a chance that people still jump off and that you then get taken next. But if you're on place 100 something or 200 something, I don't know how many applications they have per year, but that's very hard to then get in there. Then again, it's fair, it's random, they don't necessarily choose favorites or are biased, so everyone has a chance, everyone has the same chance. But still, the encounter that made me very sad was the one with the staff of them controlling the tables. It frustrated me, it still frustrates me, because it's not due to what they are supposed to do, but how they delivered it and how they just talked to me. I think that was not fair and no one should be treated like that. On Friday when it happened I was so salty that I took the pictures that I took of my booth and I colored in the parts that are original art, my art, 
and the parts that are fanner. Because they came with the argument, despite me, who has counted all the items and having, by quantity, more original art, saying that visually speaking, it was more fanner. But how is that possible? How is it possible that by quantity there is more original art, and not only by one, two things, but by 20 things around that number, that then they say, visually speaking, there is more fan art. Of course you recognize the fan art, you know the series that are popular at the moment, you know the animes that are popular at the moment, you know the games that are popular at the moment, and you know the things that were popular over the last few years, especially also if you see cosplayers of them running around and then you see something at the booth. You recognize it as fan art, you know it is fan art. But the thing is, due to me not having one side fan art, one side original art, and then you see where is the middle, where is the border of those two areas, the original art disappears. Because you're overwhelmed by all the fan art you see, like this is fan art, this is fan art, and then the original art goes under. That's also one of the reasons why many people also buy fan art and not as much original art because they also often don't see it and the fan art overshadows it. So visually speaking, there is a lot of fan art because you do not know what original art is. They were only pointing out fan art. They were not pointing out, is this original art? Where is that from? I don't know where that is from. And that's also very sad. So they very much gave that energy that they only came in with the intention to bash you down due to your fan art and not appreciating the original art you also brought. They said I'm very close, I'm passing very close by because of my books, of my zines and all, because they think that has been more work, which yes, creating a book is more work. But then there's also my personal question, what about originals, as in pieces that you created traditionally, like a canvas, a painting and all. Hours and hours and hours went into that. That is a lot of work. While a print, yes, you spend some time to create that illustration, but then you can just create a bunch of prints by that. Of course, you can do the same with the traditional art, but you cannot sell your original digital file because you can duplicate it endlessly, while a painting is something that exists only once. No matter if you try to duplicate it, you cannot. Yes, you can send it to a company that can print on canvas, but it will never be the original piece with all its shapes, with the structure of the paint, with how it feels and how much went into that. So if I would have brought more original paintings, would have that outbalanced also the 50-50 rule? Because I had a painting there, I had a skull painting there, which is no fan art, it's something very traditional, very original in that regard. Did it also add up to that? Overall, it makes no sense to me. And I'm just frustrated about how rude they were. That's all. And that's the only negative I have about that convention. When I think of Konichi, it still has the most wonderful people, the nicest people, talking to all the visitors that came by and either I met new or recognized me, you were just so sweet. But the staff this year? Those two people that came by at my booth? No. Not professional, not friendly and not to recommend to have for such a work. Even if it's volunteer, like, you can still be friendly and polite. On another note, I still try to reach out to Konichi due to an issue. I wrote emails, I tried to contact them over Instagram, which was not possible. I reached out over their contact forms on their website. No answer ever since. And it's a bit frustrating as well, so I still try to reach out to them and hope me being late in that regard is still fine because I have to ask something and, and, and solve something. So. I hope that still works and it's not like now aged so far that it's not possible to talk about it anymore or like to solve it. I hope that they eventually will get to me. I will also send another email to them one of these days and then see how this is going. Talking about my painting, it got sold to a person that had already two of my mini paintings and that is just 
awesome. They also sent me a picture and it just looks so surreal to see all of these paintings next to each other because they got created during different times so they did not exist at my table at the same time. Like those paintings did not know each other until they got bored and put next to each other in their space, in their home. And my brain is like, wait, that, that cannot be possible. That's, that's, that's not how this is supposed to be. And it's just very sweet. And it's a big investment to buy one of these paintings because I sell them nowadays for 80 euros because it's original, it's handmade in that regard and unique, very unique. No one else has that. And it is so sweet that that person also was so excited to get this painting and was worried that someone else would come by first and, and buy it. The friends came by my booth and checked it out to see if it's still there and it just... Ah! No, Koenichi has wonderful people, so many people I got to know there and I, I'm still in contact with. It's really, really cool. Like, if you're an artist, if you're close by, if you want to go to Koenichi, and you can go to Konechi, you have time that weekend and you get in, go. It's a convention I can really recommend and is also very well structured and communicative throughout the process of going there and getting all the information and also how you get advised of what you have to do when you arrive and very pleasant. Like, top three favorite cons. I think in general nowadays my three favorite cons are LaxCon because it's my local baby, then Konichi because it just has one of the best vibes for a convention, and then nowadays also Kaidan Con because I will talk about it in my Kaidan Con video and it's just so precious. And I'm very excited to work on this video, like I still have to catch up with some others and then we get into it and I will talk about Kaidan Con while I will probably have some kind of speed paint running. In regard of money, the convention itself cost me 232 euros and 5 cents for my table, for me and my partner and in addition to that I also paid a helper ticket for 71 euros and 40 cents. Why? Because my boyfriend was still supposed to come along but then he got a table for himself. And that's the matter I tried to reach out for Konichi to see if I get this money back or not. Now I paid them, so I now calculate them in to give you an idea. The Airbnb for Konichi was 207 euros and 40 cents for my part and my partner's part. So for two people, for three nights, we have Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday, and, and Saturday to Sunday. So yes. Three nights, two people, 207 euros and 40 cents. Fair price, very pleasant to pay. Like it's actually like around the numbers I pay usually for nights, three nights, something like that. And then we had gas which was around 50, 60 euros, something like that, because we needed a full tank to get there, drive around there. And when we came home, we also got a bit of gas to make it until we would be able to get it over here. Yes, because it's cheaper in Luxembourg, that's why we often get gas in Luxembourg before we drive to a convention. And then we also had food where I just think that we had around 100, 120-ish for cooking at home, for also eating out. Like, with food I'm very like, I paid for my table cost because I still need to eat. And yes, I could pay it myself, but it's business, it's like a business trip and I want to be able then to just pay my own food with the money I also make and take that into account. And also me paying for me and also partially for my partner. So for two people. The number I get now for my cost is a very rough estimate despite the table and the Airbnb. Like maybe you travel differently, then you might not have to pay as much gas or more gas. Or you eat different things, then again you might have to pay less or more. Airbnb that's now it was an okay Airbnb for the price and for what we got. It was super nice, very friendly people and all. So there again, maybe you find a cheaper hotel. Maybe you can sleep at a friend's. It really depends on your situation in that regard. But the table, for example, is fixed. Then we get to what I made during three days at Konichi. 
Conichi was a blast, it's my second best convention throughout the year. My best convention is Dokumi, which is also my biggest convention, so there the size adds up to what I get. But Konichi, there I made 2250 euros and 30 cents. It's not that far away from Dokumi in regard of money, it's like around 250. Yeah, it's around 250 euros, 300 euros that I'm that those two conventions are part in regard of money. But there is a difference of, let me calculate, Koji had around, I think, 40,000 people this year. Dokumi had around 180,000 people this year. So there's a difference of 140,000 people. Interesting. I like to compare numbers and just like see, does it have an effect? And no, not really, because super small conventions can give you so much money because people are just more local and, and, and take their time. And at big conventions, it can just be very busy and people just pass and each convention is different and each convention has a different mindset. And after some years, you notice that and I know how Dokumi is, I know how Konichi is and I know what I can expect from both those conventions. And that's also something that if you go to conventions and you go regularly to the same events, you will also get a feel for them of how they are and how you will perform there. So here's the number of profit I made and I'm very happy with Konichi. Like those three days are always a blast and I love coming back every single year. So I hope that next year I will be lucky again and can go there again. It's always so nice and I'm very excited to go there. But if not next year, then I will try the year after. And if not that year, I will try the year after. Like. Just try, just try to get into cons, cons that are a lot of fun for you and brings you a lot of joy and also is worth your time and your work. I think that was everything now that I wanted to talk about. I hope I didn't forget anything. If not, I will just let you know via text in, in my corner here. And for the rest, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to support me, you can do so on my Kofi. If you have any questions or feedback, please let me know down in the comments. If you want to commission me, I currently take commissions. Just reach out to me via Instagram or Blue Sky. And for the rest, I wish you a good day or night wherever you are. Bye!